My name is Russell Pickering. I'm from Seattle, Washington. My background is United States Air Force military and then a partial career with the Seattle Fire Department. Uh, my remote viewing journey started actually with Paul Smith. Um, looking for consciousness related matters on the internet, I came across the controlled remote viewing manual and found out that it was a military document. Having been in the Air Force and being familiar with military manuals, I was flipping through it and I was quite shocked when I started seeing words like matrix and uh, other consciousness. And I was like, what is the military doing with this? So I started researching, read the manual, and was really intrigued. I think in part because the military uh, you know, had authentic authenticated or given um, credit to the matter. So at that time, about 2010, I had contacted Paul. Uh, he had some delay of waiting list for classes, and I didn't take that class right at the time. I took another one. One of my friends um, was such a good remote viewer that they were literally drawing the target, which I was very, very skeptical. I thought there has to be some trick. So one day I took a target away to my office, or I went to my office, created a target, and locked it in my safe at the office, came home, gave the friend of mine, Catherine, the uh, control numbers, and she drew the picture again. At that moment, um, I was a little bit emotional because it changed my life. I realized everything I had thought about, uh, imagined to be true, but never had any proof for right there became undeniable. At that moment, I became a believer and uh, I haven't turned back since. I've been studying the topic. And uh, finally, a year ago, I recontacted Paul, decided to do the waiting list, and I've taken two, now three courses with him. And it's changed my life in every respect. Well, the Paul, Paul's personal characteristics are just, he's one of the best human beings I've ever met. The care that he gives you, the attention, the forthright direct criticism. Um, he tells you like it is and it gives you a chance to see it like it is and make the changes that need to be done. The uh, homework assignments and the follow-up and the commentary and the care he gives you even when you've gone back home, hoping that you'll you know continue, finish the homework and qualify yourself for the next class. The, the experience here in Cedar City is amazing. The people, the food, the environment, the field trips are absolutely beautiful. Um, and in particular, this class of people we have, we've just had a total bond, a synergy, a chemistry. We've laughed, we've had fun. They're gonna work hard. People say, oh, you know, no, it's gonna be hard. Pay attention, work hard, do your assignments, do your essays, and you'll be successful at this.